Sure, you can make a game from scratch using a programming language and certain graphics libraries. Or, like I've shown you in the past, you can use certain game making programs to make your own games. But at the end of the day, every game maker needs certain programs to create content and collaborate. Now, not all of them are expensive and inaccessible to everyone. There are some great free ones, which I'm going to show you today. Sure, there are many successful solo developers out there. But to really bring your game to new heights and bigger scales, you're going to need some friends to help out. Even if you just have one friend that does one tiny little thing, it's going to help make a better game in the end. And you're going to need some collaborative tools to help you achieve this. One tool is called Join.me, which is a free screen sharing service. And it's quite literally at the URL join.me and with a small download you can share your screen instantly with anyone else in real time. This is very useful if you want to actually collaborate in real time. Another service is called Dropbox which gives you your personal cloud with 2 gigabytes of data or more to upload your files and share with anyone else. This is obviously very important if you want to transfer large files across the web. There's also Google Drive and Amazon Prime that, that um, provide the same service. Now, if you're planning on making 3D games, you're obviously going to need a 3D content creator. And some of them, again, are very expensive. But there's a free program called Blender that does everything that the more expensive ones done for free. It can, you can um, rig models for animation. You can render like 3D models. You can do everything all for free. And it's a very popular program. There are tons of tutorials available online, even on YouTube. This is what the program looks like, and it does look a little bit intimidating, but again, the amount of support you can you have will help you. And also, you're going to have to learn all this anyway, because 3D animation is a pretty tough topic, but it's definitely very crucial to your game. Many of you have heard of Photoshop and how versatile the program is, but particularly it's important for game creation. You can edit textures, you can create promotionals, or you can even create concept art to design your game to begin with. But also you've heard of how expensive Photoshop can be, and instead of pirating it, I have a free open source alternative to Photoshop called the GNU Image Manipulation Program, or simplified as GIMP. GIMP looks and acts like Photoshop. And it's just as versatile as Photoshop. In fact, if you need to upgrade to Photoshop in the future, you can because most of your skills should be able to easily transfer over. But the program's good to begin with, so you may not ever need to. So just go to GIMP.org and you can download it for free. Now when you think of video games, you don't usually think of audio. But audio is definitely a very important part of the overall presentation of your game, so you're going to need a sound editor. Again, these kind of run on the expensive side, but there's a free alternative called Audacity. And you can go to audacity.sourceforge.net to download the beta or stable version. Now even I have a more expensive alternative, but even I come back to Audacity for its simple and fast interface. As you can see here, everything is just neat and it does everything and produces great results so go get it now this is a free program from adobe called project rome yes from adobe basically it lets you publish multimedia content for free this is what the inside of the program looks like and it comes with many different templates that you can use for sites or other types of multimedia content and you may need this to maybe promote your game or provide information to players about your game. One more thing before I go. Remember, these programs are just tools to create products. It doesn't matter what tools you use as long as you make a good product. All that matters in the end is that you're proud of your own product and your consumers like your product, which in this case are the players. With that in mind, thanks for watching and good luck in all your future endeavors.